Did you look under the bar? Yep, it ain't there. Did you look under the dining room table? <laughs> it ain't here either. Oh, then it must be on the desk where I left it this morning. <laughs> It's <laughs> so funny. It's the first time I've ever seen a zebra dressed up like a penguin. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Alan. You look fine. Thanks, Florence. And so do you. That dress is a knockout. It ought to be. I knocked myself out six months saving up for it. <laughs> Uh-oh, look out. Here comes the volunteer of the year. <laughs> Mrs. Jefferson, I know you're gonna win. Hey, how you know? Because I work with her at the help center. She deserves it. Of course she deserves it. That's why she's gonna win. <laughs> He's right, Miss Jefferson. I ain't never seen nobody work hard as you. And Florence, you know, she spends all her time watching other people work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Let me get it. This is a special night. <laughs> Hi, Florence. Hi, Miss Willis. How do you like my new dress? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Here, let me get a picture of you. Tom, save the film for the banquet. Well, Helen, I'm trying to get the hang of this new camera by just shooting any old thing. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Oh, of course. I, I, I didn't mean that. Uh, what I meant was I... Uh, oh, hi, honey. Oh. <laughs> My, you look nice. Me, look at you. Uh. Hi, son. Hi, Dad. Man, that's an expensive camera. Oh, it didn't cost me a thing. It was a gift from a literary agent. <laughs> Uh, one of the fringe benefits of the job. <laughs> okay, Florence, I think all the settings are right. <laughs> oh, Louise, we're so proud of you. <laughs> Helen, you walk right in front of the camera. Yeah, Miss Willis, watch out. Oh, Tom, <laughs> why don't you get everybody in the picture? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, come on, everybody. Oh, uh, Alan, over right. here. Uh, Louise and Helen, uh, stand oh, over here. The light's better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Please, come on. Hey, wait a minute. I saved six months for my dress. How's this? No, no, no. Uh, um, Alan, uh, move a little more to your left. <laughs> Louise, do you have your acceptance speech ready? <laughs> well, just in case. Oh, let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure that I'm worthy of this award. But I am sure of one thing. You're not getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, I'll take a picture of you when you accept your award. Oh, uh, oh I wish I could be sure as all of you. <laughs> we don't worry about it. Ain't no way you can lose. But how can you be so certain? Because I got confidence in you. You're the best. Oh, George. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a little surprise for you. Wait right here. <laughs> Everybody ready? Uh, 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 George, wait a minute. Uh, you know I'm beginning to believe it myself. Maybe I will win. Oh, oh Miss Jefferson. Don't worry. All right, everybody. Uh, Florence, oh, would no, you... Oh, no, I ain't missing out on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley, you're just in time for the picture. Oh, 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 everybody look at me. <laughs> Oh, now, yeah. smile! Pretend you're all watching Louise accept the award from Councilman Perry. <laughs> oh, is that who's presenting the award? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, no, but I bumped into his campaign manager here in the elevator last week, chap named Elliot Kane. Elliot Kane? <laughs> I thought he was an insurance salesman. Insurance salesman? All I know is when I came home, Elliot Kane was leaving here with $500. George gave Councilman Perry's campaign manager $500? Yeah, he bought some insurance from him. <laughs> he did, did he? Why, that dirty little no good Oh, no, actually, Mr. Kane seemed quite pleasant. <laughs> I'm talking about George. He bought insurance, all right. For $500, he got a policy that made sure I'd win that award. Hey, look at these flowers I got for my award-winning wife. <laughs> George, you spoil everything. 